This video is for you if you're using the Ender Extender Kit and keeping a stock bed heater. So there are two problems I ran into when using the stock heater on the Ender Extender Kit. The first problem being when you're printing with higher temperatures on the bed, say for PATG around 85 degrees, when you get to about 70, the thermal runaway alarm would go off and the whole thing would shut off. Uh, the second problem being with PLA prints, if you're printing a big enough print, uh, the corners would always lift. The reason this happens is the same for both problems. The stock heater pad is a quarter the size of what the Ender Extender Kit allows you to go to. And so what happens is around the edges where there's no heater pad, acts like a heat sink dissipating the heat into the environment. Then on top of that, because it's made out of glass, uh, that's really hard to heat up to the edges because it has a low thermal conductivity, so it takes a bit longer for things to heat up. So what is the solution? Well, you have to give it more time to heat the bed fully before you start printing or before you crank that heat too high. At first, if you're like me, that meant manually incrementing the temperatures until you got to the right amount for PATG. Uh, but the problem with this is you'd be running around doing other stuff and it always seems to take me like 30 minutes to heat up before I can even hit print on the printer. And with PLA for bigger prints, I was heating it to 65, leaving it for a few minutes and then dropping it back down to 60 before I went ahead and actually started printing. After a while, this got super annoying and I just wanna be able to hit print, walk away, go on with my day. The great news is I figured out how to fully automate it using Cura. Now, after this video, if you want a better explanation, there's a guy named Chep who has a really great video. It's the one I use to figure all this stuff out and I'll link to it in the description. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to settings, printer, manage printers. You wanna select the printer you wanna manage and go to machine settings. And then you can come here and you can actually make this uh, way bigger. So now you can see everything. So in my starting G code, from here to here, I have uh, settings for PETG, and then I have PLA settings from here to here. So my PLA settings, I have commented out because I'm not printing with PLA right now. That's what the semicolon means. So if we come up to the top, uh, all these M117, they're just messages that get sent out. Uh, they don't affect anything. Uh, so if we go to the first line, this right here, it starts preheating the bed to 60. Then it's going to wait until it hits 60, and then it's going to pause for 60 seconds. So it's going to wait there, give it 60 seconds before continuing. And then I do that to 70. Um, then I wait for it to hit 70, and then I pause for another 60 seconds. And so I do that all the way to 85. And then after that, what I do is I go ahead and I use this variable here. So this variable sets it to whatever is in the Cura settings just on the right over here. So in this case, it would be, oh, sorry, it wouldn't be this one, it would be the bed. This is the nozzle temperature. But whatever the bed settings are over here is what it would set it to. And then it waits for it to hit those settings and then it's done. So with PLA, it's the exact same thing where I set it to 65 and I wait for it to 65, except now I have it set to 120 second pause before it continues, so it gives it time to fully heat the bed. Um, then after that, it just goes to whatever I have set in my settings. When I run into problems like this, I'm gonna try and create a small short video like this about it. If that's something you want, hit like, subscribe, and thank you.